You're watching News Leader 9 with Cheryl Renee and meteorologist Greg Majeski. Well, it's Monday afternoon after the Thanksgiving holiday. A lot of people are back at work and back at school. And here's the temperature across Columbus, 54. Uh, thanks to our Ashley Furniture Home Store sky cam out there. And you can see some clouds out there. Yeah, kind of cloudy, kind of gray, yeah. really depending on where you're at, because mm -hmm. some areas are warmer than others, depending on how much sunshine's getting oh, through. It's a okay. big impact on temperatures once again. And we'll show you that here in just a second. Let's take a look right now at what's trending with your forecast. Well, definitely a milder week ahead. Remember last week we were dealing with that unseasonably cold air that was in here, a very cold Thanksgiving. Well, that's long gone, and we're not going to have to deal with any cold air really this week. We're going to see a chance of showers uh, just about every day, so keep that in mind. And then it looks like it'll be cooler into the weekend. We'll show you that on the seven day. Let's take a look at the radar right now. Here's what the radar and shower activity has been predominantly staying to the north, occasionally working their way down toward Columbus. Areas south have been predominantly drier, and as a result, they've been warmer. North, they've been cooler because of this kind of this light shower activity has been zooming across the area, moving generally to the east at about 35 miles per hour. Here up toward uh, Roanoke, you see where some of the rain showers are falling on through. This will continue to move off toward the east. Maybe get into northern portions of Troop County in here, but uh, generally nothing too widespread, just some hit and miss scattered showers and across the area. Look at the impact on temperatures though. Up here toward the north, like Roanoke, where they're getting some showers, it's 52, but down in Eufaula, where it's not going to have to deal with the rain, it's 62 down there. We're kind of sitting around on the fence of that cloud field. We're at 55 degrees here. So, depending on how that sets up, will dictate the temperatures today. I'm still going to think we're on the milder side, as I think some of the clearing will kind of edge their way back our way a little bit later this afternoon. Take a look at the satellite radar imagery. You can see the little showers that kind of moved through our area a little bit earlier. Some sprinkles that moved through Muskogee County earlier and up toward Harris County. We'll take a wider perspective here. You see the clouds are, are thinner here to the south. That's why Fort Benning's at 61 degrees, a little more sunshine filtering on through. So, if we stay at the edge of that cloud field, we may not get as warm today, but many areas across just the south of Columbus will be seeing temperatures generally in the middle 60s. Futurecast showing this uh, this event for today, the next 24 hours, it's going to deal with the clouds and the rain shower activity as a threat really right through tomorrow. So again, and this is going to stick around really for the whole week as we're kind of dealing with kind of a fairly active subtropical jet stream. No major storm systems, but kind of an unsettled weather pattern really for the week ahead. So for this afternoon, we'll keep temperatures around 65 degrees. The further north you are of Columbus, the cooler you'll be. The further the south, better chance of you hitting this number for today. And then for tonight, we'll see the cloudy skies remain. Spotty shower, not out of the question. We'll see overnight lows down around 50. As we take a look at the next seven days, we'll break it down. You see the temperatures warming up to 73 degrees, still keeping that threat of a shower in the forecast the next couple of days. And as we head for the rest of the seven-day forecast period, 70s, yeah, 70s stay with us right through Friday. And then we'll see an increased threat of rain heading into Saturday and Sunday before some cooler weather returns. So definitely above normal temperatures for this week ahead. And I haven't seen that many rain chances for rain no, in but a It's week. nothing too widespread. Okay. I mean, we really okay. could use the, the Like hit or miss type of thing? Yeah, it's more of a hit or miss okay. type thing. So All just right. keep that in mind. Okay, thanks, Greg. Well, today a 